Given a choice between concrete and grass, the swans want to be on grass. It doesn't hurt their feet. They can eat some of the new shoots. And when they poop, it disappears within 48 to 72 hours. This is the site here of our St. Bede's Forge Swannery area, the first area that we're trying to get approval for to do the work so that we can see this as the norm between the little wooden bridge here and the next wooden bridge just upstream, downstream I should say. Seems the swans want it too. So let's see if I can record this. This is, <laughs> I plan to have a, an archway here, wooden arch, carved wooden archway saying welcome to St. Bede's Ford Swannery and how magical is this <laughs> hello what are we all doing <laughs> Hello! Oh, you like this, don't you? Hey? Here you go. Come on, darling. Come on. <laughs> CJ, hello darling. This is such a small amount for how many we used to have. Here comes the rest. Come on. Let's go over here. Hello darling. He's a big old cob, aren't you? Hey? CJ is a big old cop. Where's your girlfriend? I know your wife was killed, darling. I know, but here. You're a big boy. You can get a new girlfriend now. I know you haven't so far, but come on. Here we go. Okay, let's put some here then. Look at the size of your berry. So we want to, we need to make it easier for them to get in and out of the water. Come on. Come on, pee pee. Come on then. Flap the wings. <laughs> oh, hello. What's that? Is that fishing line or is that weed? Hopefully, this is weed. Come on. See there? Can you see that hanging out of his mouth? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like weed. So that's all right. The first impressions, it always looks like fishing line. So it is weed. Okay. He's on the bike. Somebody was asking me about this behavior the other day. It's normal behavior where they try to, they fight and they try to, they grab hold of them and they try to climb on each other's back. It's normal behavior. The problem is that when it happens, in a wilder environment, uh, the swan being attacked would seek to beach itself so that it can't be drowned. But of course in our river, they can't do that. And every year, we do have young birds that get drowned. So another benefit of re reshaping this oxbow, the riverbed in this oxbow here, <clears throat> 
is that we provide a facility, a beaching area, for the swans to escape death in the event that they're being attacked. Uh, and of course, with them, with the raised bed on um, on the inside and this top layer of bricks may be removed here or the bank built up much higher on the edge here um, <clears throat> it gives a mechanism for the swans to exit the water onto this area of grass up here but also in the island in the background we we'll remove the chicken mesh that was put there to stop them getting on the island and we'll remove that and get rid of the brambles that have been allowed to overgrow so once again the swans can get back onto the little island there um, so they're safe from dogs um, safe from cyclists Hi. Uh, and uh, safe from those people who would like to do them harm hello guys it's such a glorious sight what are you doing hey Right, you need your tag sorting, don't you? Hmm? Where's everybody else? Where's CJ? Look at him with his big berry. Hey, look at CJ with his big berry. Hey? <laughs> Come on. Hmm? We're liking all this grass, aren't we? Hey? Have you been grazing? I believe you have. Look at the state of you. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely glorious sight. And of course the other wonderful thing about having this as our, as our swannery with, with stripping out the, on the brambles on that is that just across the water here we have the Swan Hotel and the uh, Pen and Cobb restaurant that's there. So how nice that would be in the summer to sit in the pen and cob having a glass of champagne or a glass of wine whatever it is that you do and uh, just sit out and look over the river at all the swans in this little swannery area that we have look at this guy talking <coughs> this is the an issue here we have I've tried flexing his ring once you can see how tight that ring is on his leg the guy who does the, the ringing doesn't do it um, he does it his own way and the result of that is that the rings are very tight on these swans legs that's why I have given the chance Let's see if we can find one like that <coughs> given the chance this one here you'll see is more oval shape um, and that's because I've actually I've actually pinched it like that. He's let me get close to him enough to bend it so it's flexible on his leg. Another one there, DKT, that's really tight. There we go. This is an injury, look. I haven't got my pliers with me. I'm gonna to have to come in. I should be able to get that. I think that's, I should be able to get that at the riverside. All right, so that's my job today. Remove a hook from a swan's leg. <laughs>